Hi, Matt. Hey, Camilla. How you doing? Good. Super excited this morning that we have the opportunity to share super exciting news about our recent mentorship program launch. Yeah, very exciting. Um, as you know, this is something that we've been working on for the past eight to 10 months. Um, and when this first came up as something that we were kind of discussing, if it was something that we wanted to implement, Lori really thought about what was something that I needed when I first got into the business? Like, how did I get to where I am? And still to this day, what are the things that she makes sure she has or surrounds herself by so that she can continue to be successful? So why don't you go ahead and just introduce yourself, tell them who you are and a little bit about your experience. Uh, my name is Matt Weiner. I just started my 20th year in real estate, which sounds crazy, 20 years already. Um, I was a little pup when I started, you know, didn't know what I was doing. Funny enough, I got into real estate because my last semester of college, um, I took two real estate electives and my dad had bought me a townhouse up there. And he says, okay, well, you're leaving, sell your house. So I actually sold my first house before I ever had oh my, my goodness, license. That's... And I was like, oh, here's the dining room. And here's where we entertain people. It was a two, two and a half, like 800 square feet townhouse. There wasn't much to do. But it really got me thinking this was something that I would want to do with, with my life. Awesome. You can see the future once you have that experience yeah. yourself doing that. It fit with my personality too. Like I like to talk and I, you know, so it just, it just was awesome. Experience. And connecting with people. I feel like that's one of your skills. Like being yes. able to connect with anyone. Awesome. It's my superpower for sure. Yeah. Um, so when you decided and you made the decision that you wanted to get into real estate, tell me a little bit about that journey. Like how did that, how did you start that process once you decided, Hey, real estate is what I'm going to do. So passed my test, um, you know, went to gold coast, passed my test. Then I went and interviewed at different offices. The first office I went to where they actually took me to the back, talked to me about training introduced me to people was the office that I ended up signing up with, which was um, EWM, which is a company down here in South Florida. Three years into my career, Lori actually came to the office and that's when we built, started to build our relationship. But one of the things back then was that I always learned in all of my business classes, every um, book I read or whether it was Warren Buffett or whoever, they always talked about having a mentor go to where there's people that could help train you. But in real estate, when I got into it, the agents who were the tops in the office did not want to help you for fear of you taking their business out of their hand. And it was the exact opposite. Once I met Lori, I was not even on her team yet. I could go into her office, you know, ask her a question and she would bend over backwards to help me. That's awesome. That is yeah. Lori for sure. Um, yeah. I remember Lori <laughs> saying how, you know, when she first got into the business, she really is so grateful for all the people who weren't part of her team, but that would help her write a contract that would pour into her and explain how the process works and how those people, those mentors really contributed to her success and how hard it is when people get into the business and they don't have that. For sure. So yeah, tell me a little bit about your relationship with Lori and how she became your mentor. Yeah. Well, funny thing too, um, before I get into that, is Lori's mentors, some of them are actually still in the business and there's agents on our team who will talk to me about how they're doing a deal with that person and they still help them to this day. Oh, so it shows cool. the people that truly care will end up pouring into people. It doesn't matter you know, throughout their whole career. But so Lori came to my office, my third year in the business, um, her bus bun signs were like popping up all over the place. And funny enough, my dad used to say, if you ever get the chance to work for Lori, like make sure you go do it. So she comes to the office. I was doing a condo conversion at that time. And a guy that was on her team left and she was looking to hire somebody else. So I went in for an interview and she always told me a team's not for everybody. You're not going to get, you know, the recognition, but you're going to get the opportunity to learn. You're going to get the opportunity to have leads, you know, so that you're not fighting by yourself trying to get the business. And then I took it upon myself once I joined the team that anytime she was on the phone, I said, put it on speaker. If she was walking out the door and she went to an appointment, I said, can I go with you? 
I mean, she would start calling me at 10 o'clock at night and say, we have this doctor. He can only meet at 11 o'clock at night. Do you want to go? And I'd get dressed and I'd go meet her. So for me, I probably went on 400, 500 appointments, got to hear Lori in thousands of conversations before I actually, um, she pushed me out of the nest and said, okay, it's your turn. You go get this listing. So, I mean, I was lucky. I had a mentor that really like showed me the ropes of um, what it took to be a successful realtor. Yeah. One of the things about real estate that's a little unique to other industries is someone can give you the playbook on the scripts and what to say and teach you the contracts, but there's not one transaction that is ever the same, right? right. And you're dealing with people. So the way that you really build that experience is with time, right? And right. you can't speed time up, but having access to listening to all of her calls, being a part of all of her transactions really help you build that knowledge and experience a lot faster. A hundred percent, you know, and I think a lot of people are scared to ask for help. I wasn't because she was so open to wanting to help me. And it just, our relationship has bloomed. I mean, we're literally in next month, 17 years I've been with her all because like, I was like, I have the Michael Jordan of real estate training me. Like who wouldn't want Michael Jordan to train them, you know? So, I mean, this opportunity with the program that we just developed is just amazing for agents that are having trouble like kickstarting their career, you know, that don't have anybody to go to or are scared to go to. We're trying to help them with that so that they all can be successful and learn the tools that it takes as well. Right. And sometimes I feel like being an agent can get kind of lone, lonely at times, right? Like you kind of feel like you're on your own island. Even with, luckily when you're part of a team, you have a lot more support. But even for agents who maybe aren't new to the business, but are ready to take their business to the next level, having the opportunity to hear or be mentored by someone like you who has 20 years of experience and can help them grow their business. Or maybe it's someone that's been working with buyers and now they want to transition to really being able to work with sellers. Um, yeah. So what are you most excited about um, in becoming a mentor, <laughs> being a part of this program? I, I love to help people. So for me, being able to help an agent that maybe needs a little bit of a push or doesn't know the questions to ask or doesn't know how to get their buyer to put pen to paper or to get the seller to make a price reduction when it's needed. Just being able to coach and help the younger agents and not younger in age, but younger in the business, be able to feel like they have someone on their side that will help them get to the closing table. You know, again, when I started, not a lot of agents wanted to do that. So to have a mentor by your side, that's going to be there. Um, that you can call. I had one of the agents already uh, call me on Saturday saying, what do I need to do to get my buyer to make this offer? You know, so even though we're just starting, they're already reaching out with the help. Um, and it takes the, the scared level of being able to raise your hand to ask someone when you're already going to have someone that's by your side that you're assigned to. I'm just excited. I think this will help our industry. You know, it'll make agents um, get, again, move their careers a lot quicker and, you know, this is not a, there's no I in team, right? So even if you're an individual agent, no one has ever succeeded alone. Every single successful person has had someone that helped them on their path. And that's what we're trying to do with this program as well. Yep, you said it best. And I think uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about is even giving the opportunity to people like yourself and other agents on our team that want to give back and want to help mm -hmm. others, because um, I feel like that could be really rewarding um, for some people. Yeah, I think um, this is only going to make me stronger. It's going to make me stronger to help other agents, going to make me see stuff from a different side of the fence. You know, maybe I haven't been where they are at this moment in a long time, but we're always constantly learning. We're always learning new things. They may be going through something on the buyer side that I haven't seen in a while. So I just think it's kind of, even though I'm helping them, I'm helping myself at the same time. It's a win-win. It's a win-win for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, for anyone who's listening to this, if you guys want to find out more information, you want to learn a little bit more about what the program entails, um, just feel free to reach out to us and know that, Matt, what you said is so true is that sometimes people are afraid to ask questions. But what I feel that this program is going to allow is like once you know who's your go to, your dedicated person, it may help bridge the gap and kind of release a little bit of that fear. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. I agree. You know, you don't have to dive into the deep end and not know how to swim. 
You know, I think a lot of agents get into the business and they're like, oh, I'm going to have all this time and free time and I'm going to work out my schedule. And they don't realize that you're not going to be successful if you do not treat this like a business. So now having somebody that is going to be there with you right from the start, that's going to be able to answer your calls when you need them to explain something about the contract or you're having a challenge with your buyer or your seller. I mean, it's just, again, we're, we're putting the, um, we're going to have to redo this part. Um, <laughs> what was the question again? I totally forgot. Uh, just like how they won't be as scared to reach yes. out because they'll have that dedicated go-to person that they're building a relationship with and they know is there for their success. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, it's just going to be amazing. You know, I think a lot of agents feel like they get thrown into the deep end and they don't know how to swim, you know, so we're helping them walk in by the steps into the pool because we're going to have someone holding their hand with them in the beginning. So they don't feel like they're by themselves, that they feel like they have this person that is there to help them get to the, to the closing table. Like I've said before, you know, it just takes a lot of the scared, the anxiety away from, Oh my God, I have my first client. What do I do? Oh my God, they made a counter offer on my listing. How do I handle this with my seller? You know, we're just trying to alleviate that anxiety, that pressure and be there every step of the way for the newer agents that need the help. Because again, if we help agents get um, successful quicker and learn quicker, it's just going to help our industry moving forward. A lot mm -hmm. of agents go to these companies with zero training, zero help. They don't know how to fill out the contract and it just makes all of our lives more difficult. So we're trying to make it a lot easier for all the agents out there. That's awesome. Yeah. They always say like, all you need to do is gain momentum. And once you have some momentum, you'll gain traction. And that's what I think that this program is going to allow for agents to gain that momentum much quicker, like you said, than if they were on their own um, and new to the business. Yeah. Momentum is a real thing in real estate. It's like the snowball starting out at the top of the hill. It's little, it's little. And then it starts to pick up speed until it's this big snowball by the time you're at the end. And I think a lot of agents, they, they kind of get caught up in like all the monotony of what it takes to be a realtor versus focusing on the things that they need to focus on in order to be successful. And you almost stop your momentum a lot of times. So again, you know, we're trying to teach agents the right way so that the momentum just keeps going and going and it's not the roller coaster of real estate. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for getting on today and sharing with everyone more about the program and how you're so excited to become a mentor. And again, for anyone who's watching, feel free to send myself a message. You can reach out to Matt um, and we'd be happy to talk to you further about this program. You're welcome. It's exciting. Exciting times for all the realtors out there. We're here to help you out. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too.